But first tonight, sweeping changes are impacting how prosecutors pursue, pursue deadly DUI cases. The Nevada Supreme Court ruling yesterday that murder charges can't be brought forward in those cases. Well, thanks for joining us on TV, Apple TV, or wherever you're streaming us right now. I'm Ty Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. One DUI victim's family tells 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen that they are livid. He is live tonight near the Regional Justice Center. And Jeremy, Jeremy they just want stiffer punishment here. Absolutely, Todd and Tricia. And with this decision, it's going to affect how aggressive prosecutors can be when dealing with deadly DUI cases. And of course, the family I spoke with saying they completely disagree with the court's decision. Every day is painful. Every day. It's been over two years since they were murdered. And yes, I believe it's murder. The memories of Krista and Damaso Puente are still on the mind of Diane Malone, the mother of Krista. The couple was killed in a DUI crash in May of 2018 when they were rear-ended. While no murder charges were pursued in that case, Malone says a recent state Supreme Court decision to prohibit prosecutors from filing murder charges in deadly DUI cases would prevent justice for other families. Shock. Just appalled. It hurts. It's like another stab in the heart. The court's ruling was made during arguments over the DUI case of Ronald Lavelle. He was appealing the second degree murder charge in a 2017 fatal crash. Chief Justice Christina Pickering and six other justices say, quote, Although malice may be inferred from the facts of this case, which was supportive charge of second degree murder, the legislature has preempted such a charge for cases of non-intentional vehicular homicide. The state may not charge a defendant with second degree murder for death resulting from driving under the influence. Lavelle's attorney, David Westbrook, says the murder charges should have never been filed in the first place. People don't set out when they get behind the wheel of a car to kill somebody. And that's a fundamental difference between a murder case and a DUI with death case. He says the upgraded charges don't deter behavior and agrees with the court that the legislature is the one that must create laws that say murder charges can be filed. The legislature is for making laws. The courts and the district attorney are for enforcing and interpreting laws. The legislature is for making laws. That is our system. It is fundamental to our democracy, and that is the appropriate way going forward. Malone says the laws need to be stiffer and supports legislative action if it gets to that point. The laws aren't stiff enough. People aren't going to change their behavior. They're not going to stop driving drunk and they're not going to stop killing innocent people. And Clark County District Attorney Steve Wolfson wanted to make it clear as far as the DUI cases, the deadly DUI cases that are going to be affected by this ruling. They are not going to be dropped by his office. He will still continue to pursue other charges in order to ensure the victims' families get justice. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.